As we can all tell by my hair, it's a rainy Monday morning, which means we're stuck inside. I'm Emily Cervantes, and this is your Rainbow Roundup. If a five hour time difference can't stop Warrior Ball 23, I really don't know what can. Men's volleyball continues their winning ways this past weekend, sweeping Queens, Belmont Abbey, and Barton to finish up their road trip in North Carolina. Head coach Charlie Wade showed off his team giving his regular starters a rest and shaking up the UH lineup. Kurt Neuster, Cole Otmar, Austin Buchanan, and more got the chance at their first career start, helping the Bows cruise past the competition. They'll now take the week off before heading back to the mainland to take on Stanford February 10th and 11th. It was an adventurous weekend in San Diego as Rainbow Wahine Sailing captured the Jeff Simon Women's Regatta Championship. UH entered two teams going up against seven other schools over the two-day event, placing in first and third, including a regatta low score of 22 points. The Bows have three weeks until their next event where they will compete in the Bryson Women's Intersectional in Redwood City. Men's basketball took on some stiff competition by facing off with first place UC Santa Barbara and CSU Bakersfield at home. Samuta Avea led UH with 13 points and three assists, while Bernardo De Silva finished with 12 points and nine rebounds, falling to the Gauchos 65 to 64 on Thursday. Saturday against the Roadrunners, the Bows secured a 72-69 win, picking up their ninth win at home for the season out of 10 games. Kamaka Hepa led UH with 17 points, while Javon McClanahan scored all but six of his 17 points and dished out four assists. Next up, the Bows will be heading to UC Davis on Thursday at 4 p.m. Hawaii time and Cal Poly on Saturday at 5 p.m. Hawaii time. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but not this time because we just have to tell you how Hawaii Swim and Dive did at their quad meet at UNLV. The Rainbow Wahine broke not one, but two relay records in the event, including the 200 medley relay and the 200 free relay, setting the third relay school record of the season. Both the men's and women's teams will now set their sights on recapturing their respective MPSF championships in three weeks in St. George, Utah. Count them, four straight wins for men's tennis after their road trip to Las Vegas, knocking off UNLV 4-3, UC Riverside 4-0, Weber State 4-1, and New Mexico State 4-0. Andre Illigan continues to be the man to beat for the Bows as he picked up three singles wins in the four matches while also securing three doubles wins with his partner Carl Collins. The Bows will now look towards February 10th when they host Azusa Pacific. Women's basketball mirrored the men's squad, splitting their weekend with a loss at UC Santa Barbara, but then picking up a win at CSU Bakersfield. Lily Wahine Kapu is continuing her tear through the Big West as she scored 10 or more points in five straight games, the longest stretch of any bow this season. Wahine Kapu and the Bows return to the Simplify Arena on Thursday to host UC Davis at 7 p.m., followed by a matchup with Cal Poly on Saturday. We close this Rainbow Roundup with the 2023 Circle of Honor class that was announced this past Saturday evening. Congratulations to Nani Cockett, Bobby Curran, David Batlin, Bobby Perry, and Katie Spieler, all extremely deserving for their efforts and contributions to the University of Hawaii. We're proud of each and every one of you. We have a lot of rain coming this week, but good thing there's a lot of indoor games. I'll see you next week. I'm Emily Cervantes on your Rainbow Roundup.